Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Buildroo.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California and I'm standing with Rick from uh, Blue Sky Energy and he's going to talk to us about a new product that they're showcasing here today. So hi Rick. Hello, how are you? Great, so uh, uh, what is this product that you're showing? Uh, what we're showing here is our new 3024 charge controller and what it does is it combines both MPPT solar charge control with diversion control so that this product can control solar as well as uh, wind or hydroelectric generators or, or similar rotating generator devices. Great, so uh, let's talk a little bit more about the product in, in uh, technical details. Um, well, what this does is it has both uh, maximum power point tracking type charge control for solar and it can also provide diverge control for rotating generators such as wind or hydroelectric. And what it does is it has a single charge control system for controlling exactly how the battery is charged and then has multiple power controllers, one for solar, one for uh, the rotating generator. And so the battery is charged as a single coordinated machine from these multiple power sources. Okay, so can you explain in a little bit more detail how an MPPT controller works then and how the diversion controller works? Yes. Um, what an MPPT controller does is it can't create power from where it doesn't exist. What you would think of it is that it harvests power that would have been left behind by a conventional charge controller. And what a conventional charge controller does when the battery is discharged is simply takes a solar panel and attaches it to the battery. That forces the solar panel to run at battery voltage, which is not its optimal voltage. And what an MPPT controller does is separate the solar panel from the battery. There's a control system that determines at what voltage is the solar panel best operated at under the conditions of the moment, runs a solar panel there to extract full power from it, and then delivers that higher power to the battery as increased charge current. What the diversion controller does is it controls battery voltage by diverting power away from the battery. If we look at charge controllers and strip away all the fancy multi-stage control and displays and the like, the core purpose of a battery charger or a charge controller is to limit battery voltage. And the way that a diversion controller does it is that the power source is tied directly to the battery. And then as the battery charges, its voltage rises. And once it reaches the desired set point, what the diversion controller does is then take a portion of the power and divert it off to uh, a dump load or some other use to be able to limit the net going to the battery as the means it uses to control battery voltage. Okay, and what are the uses uh, for this dump load? Well, one of the primary uses for the diversion control as it is implemented in this 3024 product that combines both MPPT charge control and diversion control in the same machine is that one of the things it can do is it can run with solar power only and once the battery becomes fully charged where it no longer needs all the available solar power, what the unit does is, is then the diversion portion diverts that power off to a useful purpose such as heating water and that's very popular in sail cruising vessels uh, for heating water while they're under way. The, the second thing that it does is that the diversion can also operate to control the charge for uh, rotating generator wind or hydroelectric like chargers and in those kind of chargers the, the power source again connects directly to the battery and then once battery voltage reaches set point then the diversion system diverts that power off again to either a useful or non-useful purpose to control battery charge so that this device can properly controls battery charge with multiple power sources from both solar power as MPPT and a rotating generator as diversion under a single charge control system. Great. So the advantage of using the system is that you can really use the, all the maximum power that you've extracted from the solar? Um, that is one of the advantages, to be able to have the solar continue to run at maximum power even though the battery doesn't need it, and then have that power then diverted to a useful purpose like heating water. But an important additional thing is that it would be possible to have a separate solar controller and a separate diversion controller. That's, that's how it's kind of done before the advent of this product, and that does work. But the problem is, is that you've got these two different charge controllers with two different charge controllers systems, their own set points, their own displays, their own temperature sensor, and so it's kind of a messy setup, and the interaction between these two charge controllers is not smooth. With, with our implementation, there's a single charge control system directing the activities of multiple power controllers the MPPT and the diversion to charge the batteries a single coordinated machine with one temperature sensor, set points exist in one place, there's one display, and so on. So more efficient functioning and cheaper installation? It's more efficient functioning, cheaper installation, but more importantly, more effective battery charging. There's a single charge control system that's monitoring the battery state, taking these multiple power sources and delivering them the battery as necessary to provide optimal battery charge from these two separate sources. Okay, so how does your company ensure quality control? 
Well, we have a uh, variety of quality control measures. Um, the product is uh, is UL listed, CE labeled, um, and certified by ETL. So they go through quite a testing regime to be sure that the safety part of the quality aspect is there. We have uh, production tests and inline quality inspectors. Um, we conformal coat all of our electronics, um, and we have a uh, a very good quality track record uh, for producing quality, reliable, robust products. Great, and uh, who's your target market with this product? Um, with this product, the target market is really quite varied. Um, there's no particular target market as far as an industry, but we sell this product into industrial applications for remote uh, monitoring, uh, power, powering a water tank telemetry systems, for instance, or microwave towers on top of a hill, to uh, recreational vehicles is one example, or also uh, sailing, cruising yachts is another significant uh, market, as, as is small cabins and, and off-grid homes. The, the, the applications really are quite varied. Okay, so what does this product retail for? Um, this product with the dual option uh, retails for approximately $400. Richard, thank you for okay, talking I'm to us. You can get good out of there to use. This is Tyler reporting to you from Buildu.com from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you.